Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Durga Singh and I'm back with yet another important topic that is congenital heart diseases. So let us jump right in and learn about it. Congenital heart disease. First of all the overview what I am going to discuss today. We will discuss the normal heart anatomy, heart chambers enlargement, classification of congenital heart disease, then the individual diseases like atrial septal defect, ventricular septal defect, patent ductus arteriosus, coarctation of aorta, transposition of great arteries, total anomalous pulmonary venous connection, tetralogy of fallot, Epstein anomaly and tricuspid atresia. And finally the summary. So let's start. The normal heart anatomy. See, this is the right atrium into which drains the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. Right atrium empties itself into the right ventricle which pushes the blood to the lungs through pulmonary artery. Oxygenated blood comes to the left atrium, then the left ventricle and finally through the aorta it is distributed to the whole body. Now see the borders. The right heart border is formed by the superior vena cava, right atrium and apart by IVC. While the left heart border is formed by the aortic knuckle, the pulmonary conus, left atrium and mainly by the left ventricle. Appreciate the borders in a normal chest x-ray film. See, the right heart border is formed by the superior vena cava, right atrium and the inferior vena cava. While the left heart border is formed by the aortic knuckle, the pulmonary conus, left atrium and the left ventricle. After the normal anatomy, let's discuss what happens when heart chamber enlarges. In right atrium enlargement, right heart border enlarges, projecting to the right of the spine. In right ventricular enlargement, left side cardiac shadow enlarges causing the apex to turn upwards. In left atrium enlargement, it causes straightening of the left heart border from the aortic knuckle up to the apex. Here we also find double atrial shadow. And in left ventricular enlargement, left side cardiac shadow enlarges and the apex faces downwards and outwards. Before starting with the individual diseases, Let's classify congenital heart disease. So they can be asynotic or synotic heart disease. First about the asynotic heart disease. They can be the ones with plethora of lung fields, for example ASD, VSD and PDA. Or with normal pulmonary blood flow, example coctation of iota. The other category is synotic heart disease. They can be the ones with plethora of lung fields, for example TGA. TAPVC or with oligamic lung fields, for example, TOF, Epstein anomaly, and tricuspid atresia. Now, coming to the individual diseases, let's see the questions. Question says, White fix split S2 is heard in? Yes, everybody knows it. It's atrial septal defect, ASD. They won't give the chest x ray findings because they're usually normal when the defect is small. Later on, the chest x-ray may show changes. See, in ASD, there is a septal defect through which blood goes from the left atrium to the right atrium and then to the right ventricle. So, appreciate that the right atrium and the right ventricle are receiving extra blood. So, they undergo enlargement, which we can appreciate on the chest x-ray films. So, the first finding is enlargement of the right atrium and right ventricle. The extra blood on the right side is also going to the lungs. So, the other feature we appreciate is plethora of the lung fields. Please note plethora means vessels are also visible in the lateral one third part of lungs that is high vascularity. Moving forward, the next question. Which cardiac chamber is not involved or last to be involved in VSD? So, ventricular septal defect, VSD. Let's see the chest x-ray findings. Again, the chest x-ray is usually normal when the defect is small. 
but later on it may show changes see blood goes from the left atrium to the left ventricle then in vsd there is a subtle defect through which blood goes from the left ventricle to the right ventricle and then to the pulmonary artery to the lungs and back to left atrium as the right ventricle receives extra blood because of vsd it enlarges this increased amount of blood goes to the lungs and then to the left atrium and to the left ventricle so they also enlarges so what we find is enlargement of the right ventricle the left atrium and the left ventricle another finding is plethora of the lung fields easy why you already know because increased amount of blood is going through the pulmonary circulation so the pulmonary cones becomes prominent as well now the question so which chamber is not involved see right atrium is not involved here so the answer is right atrium the next question continuous machine like murmur is heard in answer is pda patent ductus arteriosus i want to discuss only the radiological features see blood goes from the left atrium to the left ventricle and then to the aorta and on the right side through pulmonary artery to the lungs and then back to the left atrium if ductus arteriosus is patent it connects the aorta with the pulmonary artery and blood flows from the aorta to the pulmonary artery and then to the lungs so what we find in chest x ray is plethora of the lung fields as they are receiving extra amount of blood as this extra blood goes to the left atrium and then to the left ventricle so they enlarges so what we observe is enlargement of the left atrium and the left ventricle okay so here we finish the first category of asynotic heart disease with left to right shunt causing pulmonary plethora next question inferior rib notching is seen in which congenital heart disease yes that's coctation of aorta let's discuss the radiological findings here they are figure of three appearance of aortic knuckle see the film and appreciate it while this finding this is formed by the pre stenotic dilatation of arch of aorta and the left subclavian artery then the constriction at the coctation site and then the post stenotic dilatation of the descending aorta then we find inverse or reverse figure of three sign of esophagus on baden swallow because of similar reasons and we find notching of the inferior border of third to ninth ribs on posterior lateral aspect this is because of the dilated posterior intercostal collaterals as increased amount of blood is flowing through them because of this coctation let's revise the three findings this is the figure of three sign this is reverse figure of three sign and this depicts inferior rib notching okay next question most con most common congenital heart disease causing cyanosis in the first week of newborn life yes that's tga transposition of great arteries in tga the blue blood goes to the aorta from the right heart and then to the body while the red oxygenated blood comes to the left heart and then goes to the lungs through pulmonary artery so there are two separate circuits for the newborn to survive there must be some communication here there is vsd and ductus arteriosus so because of this mixing the newborn has cyanosis now the chest x ray findings see the film over circulation of pulmonary blood flow results in increased pulmonary Uh, lung markings that is plethora of the lung fields another finding is globular or oval shaped heart because of the right atrium protrusion and the left ventricular convexity with narrow vascular pedicle as the pulmonary artery lies directly behind the aorta this just looks like an egg this appearance is known as the egg on string or egg on side sign Okay moving forward the next question question says most common variety of TAPVC is so we are going to discuss TAPVC that is total anomalous pulmonary venous connection in TAPVC the pulmonary veins bringing the oxygenated blood goes to the right atrium 
also the deoxygenated blood coming from the body comes to right atrium so mixed purple blood is there in the right heart which goes to the lungs and again comes to the right heart no blood is coming to the left heart as no blood going through aorta to the body so for survival there must be some connection again here it is in the form of atrial septal defect so now the purple blood goes to the left atrium then the left ventricle and then the aorta so the chest x ray findings see this film appreciate the plethora of the lung fills this is because all the blood is coming to the right heart which is in going to the lungs leading to increased vascular markings this appearance is known as the snowman appearance or figure of eight appearance or cottage loaf heart see the snowman this head is formed by the superior vena cava on the right side and the dilated left vertical vein that is formed by the convergence of the pulmonary veins on the left side and the body of the snowman is formed by the enlarged right atrium as it is receiving extra blood now coming back to the question remember it's supracardiac it's the most common variety of tapvc next question question says boot shaped heart is seen in yes it's top tetralogy of fallot so what's the tetrad here it includes pulmonary stenosis the main culprit which leads to the right ventricular hypertrophy then ventricular septal defect and overriding of aorta all these features can be appreciated in the chest x ray see this film appreciate the upturned cardiac apex this is because of the right ventricular hypertrophy which is the result of pulmonary stenosis and vsd then look for the concave pulmonary conus as main pulmonary artery is very small due to less flow which is due to pulmonary stenosis the third feature is large aorta because of shunting of blood away from the pulmonary system and the fourth feature is oligomic lung wheels as less blood is going to the lungs because of pulmonary stenosis this appearance looks like a boot so known as the boot shaped heart or core in sabo the next question gestational intake of lithium causes which congenital heart disease yes everyone knows it it's epstein anomaly first of all the pathology here the tricuspid valve it displays downwards so the right atrium extends down here that is there is atrialization of the right ventricle why cyanosis in epstein anomaly because there exists an asd which causes blood to go from the right atrium to the left atrium now the chest x ray findings see the film there is the right heart enlargement due to an enlarged right atrium and the lung fields are oligomic as right ventricle receives less blood here this heart is just looking like a box so this appearance is known as the box shaped heart and the last case for today question says the only cyanotic heart disease with left excess deviation yes that's ta tricuspid atresia see there is atresia of the tricuspid valve so no blood is coming to the right ventricle so it becomes smaller in size blood can't grow go from right atrium to the right ventricle so for survival asd and vsd are necessity here through asd blood goes from the right atrium to the left atrium leading to cyanosis then to the left ventricle and then to the right ventricle through the vsd which then goes to the pulmonary circulation so the chest x ray findings there is left heart enlargement as it is working more and there is oligemia of the lung fields as less blood is going to the right ventricle and hence to the lungs note tricuspid atresia can be diagnosed on antenatal usg where we can appreciate a band like structure due to which the right ventricle is smaller as compared to the other chambers okay that's all now summarizing what we discussed today a cyanotic heart disease with plethora involves asd having right atrium and right ventricular enlargement vsd having right ventricular left atrium and left ventricular enlargement pda having left atrium and left ventricular enlargement 
Acyanotic heart disease with normal pulmonary blood flow involves coctation of aorta, having figure of 3, reverse figure of 3 and inferior rib notching. Now the cyanotic heart disease with plethora involves TGA having egg on string sign and TAPVC having snowman or figure of 8 or cottage loaf heart sign. Then the cyanotic heart disease with oligamic lung fields includes stoff having boot, boot shaped heart, Epstein anomaly having box shaped heart and tricuspid atresia having left heart enlargement. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. You can ask your doubts in the comment section and give your valuable feedbacks. Thank you.